Welcome back to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold. I'm joined by E.J. Steele. E.J. Steele is the chairman for the San Fernando Valley Veterans Employment Committee. Now, I'm excited to have you on the show because as chair of the San, Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce, we're looking together, we're looking to work together to put together an event out here for veterans. And So tell us about uh, the Veterans Employment Committee, what you guys do and who you serve. Sure. Thank you for having me. Uh, the Veterans Employment Committee is a collaborative of employers, nonprofit groups, federal and state workers, all dedicated to providing employment-related services for, for veterans, military spouses, and their families. So helping them get jobs. Absolutely. Yeah. Also supportive services as well. Supportive services as well. And uh, you do this in, in the San Fernando Valley, correct? Primarily the San Fernando Valley, but we have outreach throughout L.A. County. We have partners that we work with throughout the entire county. Okay. And so tell us about this event. Um, I believe you were telling me when, when we first met that uh, you have this. It's a one-day event where you bring in a bunch of employers. Tell us how that uh, event looks. It's called our, uh, it's our annual Veterans Employment and Resource Expo. So we bring together employers, nonprofit organizations, and veterans for the purposes of getting them together to provide services, employment, and supportive services for veterans in the Valley. Let's talk about what services. What are those supportive services that you're able to provide? Housing assistance. We connect them with oh, wow. the VA. Um, sometimes there are, vet there are veterans who have medical needs. We get them linked in with the VA so they can get medical services, uh, transportation, transportation, things of that nature. Yeah. Well, what, um, and and I, I, I ask you this as an open-ended question, why a vet? But there are some specific other than doing the right thing and hiring somebody that uh, is well trained and and uh, very good at, at the job as uh, when they were uh, in service absolutely but why is that well actually you know today's military is run more like a corporation than ever mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. so really you have a lot of veterans who have skills that lend themselves easily to civilian life such as accounting finance human resources pretty much any sort of operation that you would have in a corporation or a small business you can find a veteran that has those skills that easily match them Mm -hmm. And they're disciplined. Absolutely. Let's talk about the the, the style. They listen. They, they they're used to taking orders and doing the right thing. They always show up on time. They're always ready, willing, and able to work. Um, they work beyond five o'clock. Mm -hmm. Anything that you would ask for in an employee. So let's talk about a couple success stories. Sure. Um, Usually what happens during our events, and we have two big ones, we have our Operation Holiday for gifts and toys for veterans and their families in our expo. Usually we try to help someone get placed on the spot. One success story that comes to mind is they had a family about a year ago who was actually at the point of living in their car and we helped both her and her husband get employment um, through Time Warner Cable. And we were able to prevent them from, I guess, staying in their car and moving into their own house. And that came about from the holiday event or from the-, the holiday event. The holiday event. Holiday so event. them coming to, uh, to, to get their children some gifts. Absolutely. Well, we always try to keep all our events employment focused. So we always have representatives from nonprofit organizations as well as employers on the spot. As an, as an example, in our last Operation Holiday this year, we had folks do on-the-spot interviews and resume reviews. Mm -hmm. So we always try to keep it employment focused. Wow. It, it uh, certainly touched my heart because I believe that those that uh, give, you know, sacrifice their time and, and uh, in service really deserve full support when they get back and sometimes it, you know that full support is the private community it's not the public absolutely you we can no longer afford to depend upon the government or other organizations to provide support to these men and women they serve our country so they deserve everything that we have even at the community level before during and after service and hire a vet because they're responsible individuals absolutely yeah yeah uh, those that want to get involved um, both in the Santa Clarita Valley and I'll, I'll give the information here and uh, yourself EJ with your group in the San Fernando Valley, you know, how can they reach out to you? You can reach out to us at our website at www.sfvvec.org or send us an, in, an email to info at sfvvec.org. And just to uh, touch upon that, if you're an employer. If you're an employer, definitely reach out to us. Yeah, if you have jobs, if you um, have an opportunity to help train, if you can maybe um, lend a hand and, and have one of your employees be on your committee. Absolutely. We have monthly meetings at the Sepulveda VA. It's the second Thursday of every month. Um, please, we, we would love to have more employers. The more employers, the better. Yeah, and uh, look for, uh, and you're going to be advising us, look for uh, the San Fran uh, Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce to work with uh, with our city and with yes. COC, and we're gonna we're gonna model what you're doing, and we're gonna try to kind of jump on your back and, and see if we can help one more job, ten more jobs, hundred more jobs Absolutely. to help those that gave it all. 
the, the more the merrier. Yeah, thanks so much. Alrighty, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, E.J. Steele, the chairman of the San Fernando, San Fernando Valley Veterans Employment Committee. We're going to jump to a break, quick break, and we'll be right back. Bye-bye.